Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So in this video, we're going to uh, learn about the Prim's algorithm, which will help us to find the minimum spanning tree. What is the minimum spanning tree? I've already discussed in the previous video. So you can just go back in this particular graph series in the previous video, understand what is the minimum spanning tree, come back and start with the Prim's algorithm. So Prim's algorithm is an algorithm which helps you to find this particular MST. Now, imagine this is the graph given to you. So what will be the MST of this particular graph? Very simple, if you remember from the previous lecture, zero, one, we have a two, we have a three here, and we have a four here. So if you connect these guys, and if you connect these guys, it'll be six, two, five, three. And if you sum them up, you will get six plus two, eight, plus three, 11, plus five, 16. So 16 is what the summation is. So Prim's algorithm does help you to find this particular summation, which is nothing but the MST's weight. We can usually call this as MST's weight, or even if you want the edges, like for an example, the edges involved in the tree are 0, 1, 0, 3, 1, 4, and 1, 2. These are the n minus 1 or 4 edges which are involved in MST. So you can also get this particular thing if you are looking for. So Prim's algorithm does help you to find the sum as well as the particular tree, which is indeed the MST. So in order to understand Prim's algorithm, we will be using this particular graph. So before starting Prim's algorithm, we will be requiring a couple of initial things. One is a priority queue is what I'll require why I'll tell you, I'll explain the algorithm. And the other one is a visited array, which I'll be requiring again, I'll be telling you why will I be requiring a visited array while I explain this particular algorithm. So the initial configuration will have a priority queue or a minimum heap in which I'll be storing the weight, the node and the parent. Along with that, I'll have a visited array, which will be initially marked with unvisited with all the nodes. And we will have a sum of zero which will count the MST's edge weight. And I'll have an MST list, which will be storing all the edge, which are part of the MST. So initially, remember, you will start off with any given node. It can be any given node that is your choice. So what I'll do is I'll start off with something like zero with the weight, zero with the node, and I can say the parent is minus one. Remember this, this is what I will initially insert zero, weight, zero node, minus one as the parent. Okay. Now we will start the iteration. Remember, no visited mark. We just put it into the priority queue. That is the initial configuration. Now we start the iteration. So while we start the iteration, we get only element on the priority queue, which is at the top, which is zero comma zero comma minus one. So this is the node. This is the parent. So whenever the parent is minus one, it means it's not an edge. It's the first node. Parent minus one means it's the first node. So do not add it into the MST. Do not add it into the MST. Also, the there is no edge weight because this is the first node. That's why there is no edge weight as well. So we have the first node as zero. Make sure you go across and mark it as visited. Marked it as visited. Now, stand at zero and look at the adjacent nodes. So when you stand at zero, you look at one of the adjacent node is one, and that's still unvisited. So what do you do is you take one and you say the edge weight is two. So two, one comes from zero. So basically you were standing at zero. So you took the edge weight two, you took, you took the node one and it came from zero. So basically this is the edge that you took. Perfect. Done. Next, this is also connected to zero. So what you'll do is you, you will see, is this unvisited? Yes. So simply take one as the edge weight. So I'll take one as the edge weight, the node is two came from zero. So what I did was I take both the guys who are directly connected to zero, but please do not mark them as visited. Please do not mark them as visited. Okay. So I've taken it. So I can say the first iteration has been complete and I have pushed on all the adjacent nodes into the minimum heap data structure. Now, what does minimum heap data structure say? We will always have the least weight at the top. So I'll get the least weight guy, which is one comma two comma zero. So one comma two comma zero. This time 
you're getting an edge 0 to you're getting an edge 0 to so it will be a part of your MST 0 to is a part of your MST and whatever is the edge weight you'll go and add it on the sum done now you have edge as uh, sorry you have the node as 2 so go to the 2 and say you are visited right next so you have taken 0 to and that is what you have taken now standard 2 so you stand at 2 and you look at 0 but 0 is already visited so do not look at 0 you look at 1 1 is unvisited yes 1 is unvisited if you stand at 2 and look at 1 it's still unvisited so it's an edge weight of 1 so you can again take 1 1 and this time you came from 2 and this time you came from 2 so you can easily take it off okay next if you're standing at 2 0 is done 1 is done next adjacent is 4 it's unvisited so you can again take it so 2 comma uh, 2 is the edge weight 4 is the node and you're coming from 2 so this is what you'll put it into the priority queue do i have anyone else we have a 3 yes we have a 3 so what i'll do is i will this time take the edge weight 2 we will take 3 came from 2 perfect so apparently this is also done and i made sure standing at 2 all the adjacent guys have been put into the priority queue next take the next smaller guy out of which which is the next smaller guy obviously 1 comma 1 comma 2 so take 1 comma 1 comma 2 so 1 comma node 1 parent 2 go and look at the node 1 is it uh, is it unvisited it is unvisited which is 1 2 which is nothing but this edge so i can say i'll take this edge now 1 comma 2 is the edge or rather 2 comma 1 you can call it whatever because 1 comma 2 or 2 comma 1 both are same right and the edge weight is 2 so the edge weight is 1 so you add 1 to it you'll get it as 2 and at the same time make sure you mark it as visited so apparently now 1 is also visited now stand at 1 and look at its adjacent its adge adjacent is 0 which is visited its adjacent is 2 which is visited so there are no other adjacent so thereby i can say the iteration has been completed now let's look at the next one what is the next one which i'll get all of them are same so apparently we will get this guy so 2 1 comma 0 2 1 comma 0 but before moving ahead and adding this to your sum or to the mst we see hey wait the node 1 the node 1 is already visited so you do not add it yes you do not add it and you do not do any adjacent operations if the one has already been visited which means it's a part of your mst it's a part of your mst so do not add it right next you find out the next guy so out of these two guys we'll take 2 comma 3 comma 2 so 2 comma 3 comma 2 this time which is the node 3 so go and mark 3 as visited next this is the edge weight go and add it so this will be 4 next this is the edge 2 comma 3 go and add it to your mst now you're standing at 3 stand at 3 look at its adjacent one of the adjacent is 4 with 1 so really you can add it 1 comma 4 comma 3 i've added it and for 3 the other adjacent is 2 so 2 comma 2 comma 2 uh, 2 comma 2 came from 3 you've added that into the priority queue because for this guy this was one of the adjacent and this was one of the adjacent so i have added both of them i can say my iteration has been completed now quickly which one is the smaller one comma four comma three so take it out one comma four comma three is four unvisited yes go across and mark it as visited once you have marked it as visited what you'll do is you'll take this one add it into this and this will become five and the 3,4 is the edge which will be added to your MST. Now, what you'll do is you will go ahead and say, okay, I, I was at 4, so I'll stand at 4 and I'll look at 2. But I see 2 is already visited. I'll not do it. I'll look at 3, which is already visited. I'll not do it. So apparently I'll not get any other adjacent nodes. So I can say 1, 4, 3 is done, which is the next one I'll get. I'll get 2, 2, 3. And when I get 2, 2, 3, I see 2 is already visited. So I'll also not do anything. So 2 comma 2 comma 3 is done. Next I'll get 2 comma 3 comma 2 and I'll see 3 is also visited. So nothing to be done. Next I'll get 2 comma 4 comma 2, 2 comma 4 comma 2 and I'll see 4 is also visited. So nothing to be done. 
ultimately a mean heap is empty and once a mean heap is empty you can say that it's over prim's algorithm is over and the algorithm has got the mst sum as 5 and this is where the mst is stored so now what i'll do is i'll quickly erase this off and try to draw the mst so that the idea is clear to you let's see if the mst was formed properly or not so which is uh, the first edge 0 to 2 so let's take 0 and then take 2 which is an edge weight of 1 next is 1 to 2 so next is 1 to 2 with an edge weight of 1 right next is 2 to 3 so which is this with an edge weight of 2 next is 3 to 4 with an edge weight of 1 so it's like 1 plus 1 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 which is your sum and which is your mst as well so what i have done is i have successfully found the sum of the mst also i have found the mst which is stored over here so this is how you do it so, so i hope uh, the algorithm is clear to you very simple take the elements out if it's unvisited mark them as visited take the adjacent nodes put them into the priority queue keep on going keep on going and ultimately you will get your mst so i hope you have understood the entire explanation now it's time to code it up so as usual i'll be coding the c on the right and you can find the exact similar java solution on the left so what does the question state uh, given an weighted undirected connected graph of v vertices and e edges task is to find the sum of weights of the edges they don't want you to find uh, the uh, minimum spanning tree they want just the sum of the weights of the edges so what i'll do is i i've been given the v and uh, the graph so i'll declare a priority queue at the first because that is what i require so this is how the priority queue will be or the minimum heap and what else do we require we require a visited guy so let's take a visited guy if you remember and i'll mark everything as zero and in the priority queue initially now over here one thing i like to clarify we just need the sum of weights of the edges so do we need to carry the parent no because what we needed was the weight so that in priority queue you always get the minimal weight and the other thing that i always needed was the node i needed the i i would have needed the parent if someone would have told me to get the mst but over here the question is just the sum of weights of this so i'll just I'll just store something like the weight comma the node that's it no need to store the parent if they ask you for mst you can go ahead and store the parent okay but over here we don't need anything so what i'll be like okay while pq dot empty that's the case so what i'll get is auto of id is pq dot top okay and at the same time i can do pq dot pop now i can say the node will be at the second position i'll get the node and i know one thing the weight will be at the first position now something I know for sure is if this node is already visited, that means it's already a part of the MST. So I'll say, hey, no need to do anything. If it's already the part of the MST, or I can say that's rather this. If it's already visited, just go ahead. Just go out and get the next node. If it's not visited, I'll say, okay, come ahead, be a part of the MST. Come ahead and give it to the sum. So probably I can declare something like sum equal to zero. That's what I'll do. It'll be a part of the MST. In case someone would have asked you to get the MST, you would have taken the parent and uh, stored it in some list in this position. Okay, but we don't need it. Now, what's the next thing? We have got the node. Get all the adjacent guys. Yes. How do you get all the adjacent guys? Very simple. Iterate on all the adjacent guys like this. And then, who is the adjacent node? This guy. Yes. And what's the edge weight of that guy? This one. Right. Now, what do you need? If it's not visited or not a part of mst yet if it's not a part of the mst yet then i go ahead and say okay you're not a part of the mst can you go ahead and get into the priority queue simple no need to mark it as visited we mark it as visited only at this junction when we add it to the mst this is when i add it to the mst that's when i only do it okay so very simple and once you've done this you need to return the sum so go ahead and return the sum so i'll just go ahead and return the sum so we see it's compiling fine let's quickly submit this and see if it is running all the test cases we see all the test cases are running fine so 
the prints algorithm was very simple. I've written the code. I might be thinking, but Striver, what is the intuition? The intuition is very simple, guys. You started with zero. Yes. And after that, what did you do? You took the adjacent nodes, right? So you basically start with a node and you know, zero will be in MST. Zero will be connected to someone for sure. So you just entered one and two into the priority queue, right? And out of those, out of those both adjacent, in the next step, you took the minimum. So it's a greedy. You took the minimum. That's why you got two. And that's why this was added, right? And next, for two, you added all the adjacent. Again, for the next, you got the next minimum, which is this. So you added in this way, this one. But in the next, when you got this as minimum, it did not take it into account. Why? Because zero was already in your MST. Two was already in your MST. One was already in your MST. So there is no point of taking this. That's why this edge was ignored in your dry run. So the algorithm is very simple. So if someone does ask you about the intuition, you can tell him that greedy is the intuition. How? We simply start with zero because we know this will be the part of the MST. And we, we know one edge will be connected with zero. So get the minimal guy connected. Next, get the next minimal guy connected. Next minimal is one connected. Next minimal is two, 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 but this will not be connected because zero one is connected, right? So the next guy, either you can take this two or this two, anyone, you can take this or you can take this, anyone will work fine. So this is what the intuition is greedy. I just followed a simple greedy algorithm and that is the intuition behind solving this problem. Now, now you must be thinking, what is the time complexity of this particular algorithm? So if you carefully observe, we are actually running for all the edges in the priority queue. So the number of iterations in the priority queue will be the number of edges or somewhere near about that at the worst case. So I can say the iteration is definitely big of e. So I can say this while loop will definitely run for e times. And there is a priority queue top, which will take logarithmic of priority queue size. What can be the worst case size? Imagine a graph like this. Imagine a graph like this. And this is zero and this is one, this is two, three, four. So the first time it can have all the edges in the priority queue at the worst case, right? So can I say logarithmic of E, which is all the edges is what this is. So this iteration into log. Now, adjacent nodes, can I say overall, like throughout all the iterations, we will move across all the edges, all the edges. So E for this and a PQ dot push. So log E again. So basically, e log e over here, e log e over here, overall, overall. Because for once, it will have limited number of adjacent nodes. But if you combine all the nodes, it's e log e. So e log e for iteration into this, plus e log e for traversing the adjacent and putting them into the priority queue. So e log e plus e log e is somewhere near about e log e. That's the time complexity, right? What about the space? So we can say the space is v over here. By using a priority queue, which can take a maximum of B go of E. So that is about the time complexity and the space complexity. So guys, I hope you have understood everything about the Prims algorithm. So just in case you did, please hit that like button. And yeah, I just checked out my stats. Nearly 50% of the people who watch my playlist do not subscribe to our channel. Please, please do consider subscribing to us because that is the only thing that keeps me going. And yeah, if you haven't checked out our DP series and the SD sheet, the links are in the description. Please make sure you check them out. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in some other video. Till then, bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken.